Have I ever mentioned how much I love your comments on social media? They give me such fuel for this weekly segment. And this week, it's a two-parter. This comment happens to be about the post where I said April was the second warmest on record, according to the European scientist at Copernicus. Comment says, Copernicus is funded by the ultra-liberal EU and uses an app called Climate Adjust to alter temperatures to fit their liberal agenda. Copernicus is not the only group in the world that's tracking global temperatures. NOAA comes up with warming temperatures too, and they're doing it in a totally different method. Now, the second part of their comment, with all electric cars, solar panels, and wind turbines, nothing has helped, but they have helped. All these numbers are from the International Energy Agency. You ready for this? Between 2019 and 2023, energy-related greenhouse gas emissions were up 900 megatons. But had there not been heat pumps, electric vehicles, nuclear, solar, and wind, the emissions would have been three times higher. Take electricity alone. Nuclear and renewables made up 40% of the world's electric generation for the first time in 2024. Solar and wind made up 16% of the United States' electricity, surpassing coal. One example is here at Rockland Green. Behind me, you'll see 16 acres, more than 8,700 solar panels, all that produce enough power to power 600 homes for a year. And it's on top of a defunct landfill. So we've definitely saved money, um, you know, um, with, particularly with the, the rising cost of, uh, uh, of electricity. Uh, it's definitely been a hedge for us in terms of the taxpayer saving money. So you can see renewables are helping. It's just that we don't have nearly enough. Now, compared to fossil fuels, renewables is still just a small percentage of what we produce. In 2023 alone, U.S. energy consumption was only fed by 9% renewable. That's only 9%. How much more do we need? Well, it's a lot, like nearly 10 times what we've got now. According to the International Renewable Energy Association, to avoid the worst impacts from global warming, we would need 85% of global power to come from renewables. Given the $14 billion in clean energy projects that have been canceled since the Trump administration started, I doubt that's gonna happen anytime soon. Well, the sun's certainly working today. Uh, but good thing is the US is not the entire globe. And actually it might surprise you, China is the leader in clean energy. In the first three months of this year alone, their renewables went up 19%. In the United States, same time period, it was 6% up. In Europe, they contracted by 5%. And we are going to need more energy. The demand or increase in 2024 alone for energy was up 2.2%. That's big. So the question is, are we going to build more plants that require fossil fuels, or are we going to rely on nuclear and renewables? Either way, one other part of the story that gets missed all the time conservation. We need to use less energy no matter where it comes from.